the second lesson of our Bazel tutorial with C++. Uh, in this tutorial we're gonna go over uh, creating libraries and how to link against them. Um, we're gonna try the simple case first. Okay, so I created this uh, lesson 2 folder, which is really based on our lesson 1, where we had a empty workspace file and uh, a hello folder with the main CC in it and uh, our build file. Okay, so let's go back inside that hello project. Okay, now let's um, create uh, another uh, class. Uh, say, uh, uh, yes, string class hello. Uh, this is the class that will be called from our uh, main method. So let's say the only thing that it does is uh, says. Uh, uh, say hi. So this is our interface. Okay. Now let's go into the implementation of the class. Say include hello. That's Okay. Let's say hi. I also noticed that I did not necessarily include in my header file. Let's fix that. We don't need the stream here. Let's put it in source. That would improve compilation. Did you know that uh, you know this uh, standard header file sometimes takes the longest time to compile? So you want to make sure that you don't pollute your uh, programs with many of those, so make sure you put them in the source file and fill your headers, unless you really need to. Okay, uh, let's just make sure we have our. Okay, now let's include this in our main. Include. Um, Everything looks good. Uh, notice here that I used the uh, instead of angle brackets, the I used quotes. Uh, that's mostly because then I'll have to define in my build files the include directories. Uh, it might be too much for this lesson. I'll cover it in the next lessons. Okay, so just use the quotes instead of angle brackets for now. Um, okay, so now so we have our uh, hello header and the source, and then we have our main source. Okay, so now let's add the uh, let's modify our build um, rules to add this library. That will be hello library. Um, let's see. So we have our binary. Let's add this another rule called CC library. Okay, so here we will define again the name of the library. Let's say hello library. Um, let's define our source okay and the headers because we want to export our headers to our clients uh, this part right here the the header parts oh, uh, the header parts you only need only when you actually ex want to export those headers out of your library so let's say if it's an internal um, headers used by the library only then you don't have to specify it here um, yes yeah, so, but in this case uh, hello that hh will be used by our uh, browser application okay so one more thing we have to add so this will create our library but then we want to make sure that our binary can depend on this library so we have to add the, another field called depths and here we gotta say hello Go. So now we have a binary, our binary depending on uh, our library. Okay, uh, let's see if that. Now let's build it. Um, again, as I mentioned, since we're inside of the project, we can just use this uh, shortcut basil build dot dot dot. Boom. Hmm. We have uh, error. I must have messed something up. Uh, let's see. 
Okay, I see the problem. You see, I include the hello CC instead of that change. Okay, let's build again. Hmm, what's the problem now? Oh, I am on a roll to make a mistake today, huh? Okay, that should do it. There you go. Okay, so we build the application. Now let's go up into the, our uh, root workspace file. Here now we can ls basil bin. Uh, hello. Okay, here we go. Here we see our executable. We can see our new library. It's a static object, a uh, static library, and this is the shared object. Okay, so we can run our um, hello browser. Boom, and we got our hello basil. All right, this is it. this is it for this uh, lesson. Uh, in the next lessons, we're going to go more deeply into splitting the libraries into different packages. Um, so make sure to subscribe and like this video. Um, thank you.